I have an appointment at this university. Where? Student services. Oh, okay, well, let me I'm, walk I'm you. A well, I'm a former student. You have no, university. well, you have no right to be on this campus. Yes, I have as no, much right to be you here don't. Here Get off this else. campus. You're no. not welcome to here. Get off. What I are you trying to catch What? You want to no, punch I'm me not. in the face? I'm not here huh? to do anything. Why are you wearing a Pauline Hanson? Why are you wearing a Hanson shirt? Because I support her. Why are you supporting Pauline Hanson? Because I do. I don't have to answer to you. He is a proto-fascist. He has no right to be here. All he wants to do is demonize Muslims. Muslims have had enough. Get off this campus. You are not welcome here. I have as much right to be here as anyone else. Touch me. He's a fascist. I have as no, much right to be here. He's a fascist. You have no right to be here. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Respect our lives. I have yeah, an appointment. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going. Okay. You're the one who off. followed me. Yeah, well, I've seen you on this campus harassing women, harassing Muslims. I'm an ex student of this university. I have a, I have a completed degree here, and I have an appointment in relation to my degree. Yeah, well, fuck off. So, fuck you. Fuck you too. I have a right to be here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I have an appointment. I don't, I don't attack what? anyone. Yeah, you do. I actually. have an appointment at this uh, well, university. Deal with it. I will deal with it. How about we all you on the guild? Uh, the guild is where I'm going. Um, snowflake mentality is one that resorts to trigger warnings, safe spaces, things of that nature that we don't necessarily believe in. We believe in freedom of thought and we believe that you should be able to voice your opinion without being shut down by the other side like we've seen at campuses. My family has not amassed enough wealth since they came out of chattel slavery to literally pay for my education so I go into debt and I graduate with a huge amount of debt when my white counterparts do not. Um, Wait, and I know white people go into debt too. It's exactly. not just I'm in debt, I'm in debt. Like, that's what I gotta deal with going to class as a black female at the University of Kansas. I gotta deal with walking by a white man cutting up safe space stickers. Yes, we share space. So, regardless if you guys think that freedom of speech allows you to spew hatred, it isn't allowed. Wow. There's like something, as a matter of fact, since you look things up, Title IX is probably pretty key for y'all to look up. My pronouns are they. They. So from, from now on, when you refer to them, use they, them, there, because we've shown you the respect to refer to you by your name. So from now on, you will refer to them as they, because that is the appropriate thing to do when you are above the age of fucking 12. Hey, and you can stand there and smirk, we can take it from you. That's what y'all fail to realize. People of color, marginalized identities, we can take it from you. That's what y'all thinking. See, that's yeah, privilege. I'm sure you're just saying okay. that's called white fragility. So you know? then, my question is, you say freedom of speech. It's called white fragility. That's actually a term, letter, so right? not opinion. Okay, you can know. White fragility defensiveness when you are attacked about your privilege. And I'll even say attack because of the tone I'm talking to you in. Like I said, white fragility. Look at the phone up. You do care about your whiteness that you're trying to save it. What this group say safe spaces should exist. It's not your right to say that safe spaces should not exist. Hey, please do not interrupt me. My intellectual safe space is the idea that you can't retreat I'm not retreating. I'm making myself safe and comfortable. That's fine. You're living. What are you doing as a white person who has the privilege to walk into a classroom and be automatically respected because you were born with a dick? We deserve benefits because you enslaved us for 400 years. It's called accommodation for the disenfranchised. Your ancestors and you still reap the benefits. You still reap the privilege. Uh, the genocide of Native Americans do not and the slavery. People are not illegal. People made They're undocumented. You are all of guys. Gender term. Well, and, and that's... Don't, argue don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that and I won't respond correctly. Don't clap your hands at her. That's a bad mistake. Yes, as long as you... It's not, let me get this clear real quick before I leave. It's not a disagreement of whether you're a white supremacist or not. If you believe in this snowflake bullshit, if you believe that there should not be safe spaces on this campus, if you believe that there is not institutional racism on this campus, that is you not recognizing your white privilege, the privilege that you have to walk on this campus, to walk into any store, to do anything. To walk on this campus. No. I have the same privilege? You're gonna fucking tell me I have the same privilege. Because when you walk from fucking the union anywhere, did you get stopped by anyone? No one cat called you. No one said, show me 
me that you're a real woman. Yes, you admitted that it was horrible, but what are you doing to change it? Okay, and can you tell me about uh, the plans to protest Myla? Okay, later today we're having a protest uh, outside of the HCB uh, building near the Free Speech Zone uh, to protest Milo Yiannopoulos, who is a racist, misogynist, who hates trans people. So we're basically there to say our university is saying that and putting out this lie that our university supports all people and that it is pro-equality when really they're bringing in these people to talk and speak that are totally against that. And the antithesis of um, like togetherness. Right. Uh, what are some of the examples of things that are things that he said that you have an issue with? Okay, so he's okay. Specifically, a big the biggest one that is easiest to point at is when he gathered all his uh, fans and supporters to harass Leslie Jones online, hacked Leslie Jones's Twitter to uh, release her nudes, and then like made it out to be like he was the victim of some sort of crime or something when really he's been bullying online uh, Leslie Jones, who is a beautiful black woman who is uh, who was part of the Ghostbusters movie, and thus uh, all the nerd rage came up down upon her for being a woman who was black in a nerd film. But Milo concentrated that rage and was able to push it against her and really harmed the community. And, um, do you think it, uh, it was the right decision, um, and if you could restate the question, that would help. Do you think it was the right decision for him to be banned from Twitter because of that? Um, I think it was a great decision to ban Milo Yiannopoulos from Twitter because he spreads hate and hate speech. Um, that's really not something I believe we should have in 2016, just pro being proliferated around the internet. Right. Exactly. Um, so, what are, what's the goal of this protest? Like, what do you? What's the uh, ultimate? What are you trying to achieve? Just, just trying to show opposition, or you got a specific goal? You want to tell them? Like, what's the deal there? Our goal is to show the university that we're not okay with this type of speaker being brought in to speak, and to hopefully prevent the university from bringing another type of speaker like this to come speak at our school. Anything that uh, you think that's going through your mind is, is driving you to do this? Um, I have a general consciousness, and that's really just making me do these types of things. To build for progressive change. Yes. We see this university yes. continues to exclude uh, people of color as they cancel uh, Latin American studies classes and they cancel uh, more and more African American studies programs. We see that. Um, uh, faculty of color continue to be pushed out and discriminated against at this university. We see that black enrollment continues to drop year after year due to the discriminatory admissions program. We see the racist statue of Francis F. Slave owner Confederate standing uh, recently built uh, within the last uh, decade um, or so in this university. And now we see this. Miley Annapolis brought here to spread his hate and his violence here at our university, and we need to stand against that. So I just want to thank everybody for coming here, for standing up against these far-right bigots, and... And we need to actually continue to build this movement, you know, continue to protest against police brutality, like was done earlier today, continue to fight against racism and sexism. There's a lot of work to be done in this uh, campus and in this world, and I'm really excited to get started with everybody. Woo! 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 I have a chant. Um, and a, yeah, it's a racist, sexist, anti-gay, Milo, Milo, go away. 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 Racist, sexist, anti-gay. That's all that it is. Like it, it God, what a 
how it's weak the willed thing. and boring of a person do you have to be that first of all you tie your entire self worth to what you are instead of who you are and that you can't take even the slightest bit of criticism or questioning without immediately folding isn't that a testament to the fact that your worldview is kind of fragile and that it doesn't hold up to scrutiny and therefore should be changed i see maybe similarly, isn't that kind of the point of college the free exchange of ideas <laughs> and discourse to see which ideas emerge triumphant isn't that what it's supposed to be when you have a class and they bring up a sociological perspective you should be able to say no you should be encouraged to say ah i disagree and this is why 